What's up? It's your girl, Mika Chanel, coming to you with the first edition of my video blog. Um, I was gonna call it I'm just saying, but I'm still playing around with the words. But I'm just saying it's something that I say all the time, besides whatever, so I think I might go what I'm just saying. Anyways, it's the first edition of Mika Chanel's video blog. So I decided that since I have become a reality TV junkie, I, this rocking chair drives me insane because I can never figure out which direction it's going to go in. But it's so cute. Anyways, so I have become a reality TV junkie like I was saying and I decided that there are um, a lot of shows, I haven't decided, I've noticed that there are a lot of shows that um, I watch that a lot of people that I know don't watch. So, um, and then there are some shows that like my friends from back home Shout out to the Quad Cities. But um, they don't get TV One, so like they've never seen R&B Divas, they've never seen Unsung, they never seen any of that good stuff. So I feel like I need to discuss it with them, but sometimes they don't know what I'm talking about either. So anyways, I just decided that I'm just gonna talk to my video camera and hopefully someone out there is listening when I post it on YouTube. So the first show I'm going to talk about is Hollywood Exes Season 2. It premiered last night and I was really looking forward to this show coming back because I really enjoyed it last season. It was um, a reality show um, that did not have a lot of violence. You know, of course there is some drama. There's always drama. Um, there was the Jessica and Drea drama, there was the Jessica and Maite drama. Jessica seems to be the common denominator in a lot of the drama that goes on on the show. But she's very fun and I really like her. So anyways, let's get started with season two. So this season I was really excited that all of the ladies did come back. Um, so we have Nicole Murphy the ex-wife of Eddie Murphy, but she is now engaged to Michael Strahan from Kelly and Michael. I love Nicole. She is so pretty. I swear I want to skin her and just wear her body as my own. She is just gorgeous. Anyways, um, then we have Sheree Fletcher, who is the ex-wife of Will Smith. Remember his first wife from back with, um, back, 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 back in the day <laughs> when, um, he was married and no one really knew about it. Then they got divorced and people said that she tried to take him to the cleaners and tried to take all his Fresh Prince of Bel-Air money. I don't even know about all that because honestly, I was probably like 13 or something and I wasn't really into that kind of stuff back then. So I don't know the whole story. So that's Sheree. Um, then we have Jessica Conseco that I was just talking about that loves the drama and I love that she loves the drama. She's hilarious. But sometimes I think she's just kind of oblivious um, to the world around her because it's, it's sometimes I don't really think she knows that she's causing drama. I think she's just being her and being happy and living her life and I really love her for that. Um, then we have Marte Garcia. She's the ex-wife of Prince. I don't know. I was born in 1979. I didn't realize that Prince had been married. <laughs> so I'm like way behind on times when it comes to Prince and his ex-girlfriends. But um, my take, Arcia was one of his wives. They were married for a quick minute, long, 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 long time ago, but she still gets credit because she was married to him. My take is, uh, she's different. She's very pretty. Actually, all the girls are really pretty. Um, she is, okay, you know what, we'll just say that. You'll learn who she is as I discuss this season. So, then we have Andrea, they call her Drea, Kelly, ex-wife of, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da boom R. Kelly, right? Yeah, nobody even knew he was married for 10 years, that he never been married for 10 years, and it's, how could you not know that someone is married for 10 years? I don't understand how he kept that one a secret, but um, anyways, I do like Drea. This season, though, we start the show, the season off with, um, oh, I forgot to mention the new cast member is Shamika Lawrence, who is the ex-wife of Martin Lawrence, and rumor has it that he is not too happy about her being on the show. He was trying to put a gag order on her and all kind of stuff, but you can't do that. She's your ex-wife, and she can be, she can um, come up get her reality TV on if she wants to. Don't hate Martin Lawrence. Don't hate. 
Shouldn't have did whatever dirt you're scared she's gonna bring out. So that is the season two cast. Now, um, let's go ahead and get it started. So first is the episode starts off with um, Drea in Chicago. Here, that's where I am in Chicago for the last 12 years I've called this home. Um, so she starts off, she's packing up, she's got her assistant with her and she's getting ready to go off to her LA home which is where the show is taped. So we just see her kind of talking to her assistant and she is talking about Jessica and I'm like well wait a minute has it not been a whole year? Are they still beefing? But I guess over the last year, I don't keep up with Twitter, um, but I guess that they've been having some kind of Twitter beef. And she says she's too old for Twitter wars, but she's very upset about something that Jessica said on Twitter about her being fake and whatever. So that's kind of how it starts off with her talking to her assistant and getting ready to pack and go off to LA. Um, then we move on to, uh, then next we see Sheree and Jessica, um, they're having lunch and Sheree announced that Sheree, the ex-wife of Will Smith, don't get her confused with the delusional Sheree from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. No, this is a different Sheree <laughs> that actually has real money and is not phony. A little boring, but not phony. Um, anyway, so Sheree launched an um, online boutique and her and Jessica were having lunch because Jessica wanted to buy some jewelry for herself and for her daughter. Jessica has a daughter, I believe she's 16 or 17, something like that by Jose Canseco. Um, so they're just having lunch and that was kind of that. And then we, next we see, I believe we saw Maite next with her mother. Um, they were walking the dogs. Now the funny thing about this scene was that there were like five or six dogs. I'm like, are these all her dogs? Seriously? And then one of the dogs, they were carrying in like a baby Bjorn or whatever those things are called. Bjorn, Bjorn, however you want to pronounce it. I don't know how to pronounce it. I didn't have one. But, um... Yeah, it was just weird that they were carrying a dog in that. I'm like, the dog has four legs, he can walk. But apparently, you know, they're her babies and I know how people feel about their animals. Um, not a dog lover myself, but whatever. So they were walking the dogs and um, Maite was just talking to her mother um, because the whole Maite storyline from season one, not the entire storyline, but a big storyline was that she really wanted to have children. She had been pregnant by Prince. Um, previously and she the baby survived just for a short time outside of the womb and it died and um, she basically has not been um, feeling that she's complete and she really wants to be a mother is my boob showing <laughs> anyways she really wants to be a mother and she has not been feeling complete since um, she lost her child years ago so the scene with Maite and her mother walking the dogs Maite is talking to her mother about artificial insemination but um, she brings up the fact that she was contacted by a young mother that has a baby I believe it's like eight or nine months old and they need a home for her she needs a home for her baby she's not able to support her baby so my tie was talking to her mother about this and apparently her mother does not think she can be a grandmother to a child that's not blood related to her now everybody has their own opinion about adoption and foster care and marrying someone with kids and just basically bringing kids into your life that are not your blood um i personally feel that every child needs to be loved and deserves deserves to be loved so whether it's your blood child or not um or whether it's a child of your bloodline of your blood lineage or not um i don't think that should make a difference i think what makes a difference is how you love them and how they love you back and things like that so that's what really makes a family because just because you have the same blood as people does not make them well it does make them your family but doesn't make me you want to really be around them and claim them as your family <laughs> a lot of times so anyways um i thought it was funny like to lighten up this conversation that her and her mom were having this like really serious discussion and she's twirling around her poop bag that you know you pick up the poop from the dog and it was clearly empty i mean clearly had some poop in it because while she's twirling it it's kind of heavy you know so 
I just found that hilarious and I had to write that down in my notes to make sure I discuss that because it was just funny to me that she's um, talking about something like that um, while twirling a poop bag. Anyways, um, so we move on to the next scene. It was Nicole Murphy, it was Sheree and Jessica and they all decide to go shopping so as they're walking down the street they're all excited they're going shopping like oh shopping's on Nicole but Nicole says no 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 shopping's not on me shopping's on Michael I heard that because Michael straight hand just gave her a black card um must be nice Nicole so as they're shopping um Sheree I don't really know about her because the first season I couldn't really get a good read on her because she's she's kind of boring but she kind of seems like she might have a little sneaky side to her. Um, she's married to a pastor now, and I don't know. I'm still, I'm still reading on her. But when they were in the clothing boutique um, shopping, Sheree was like, well, uh, Jessica, you know, you still have a balance. And she's like, you know, I decided to hit Jessica up since we were all shopping. She still had a balance that she owed me, so I wanted to get my money. Which I understand you want to get your money, but it just kind of seemed a little shady the way she did it. So Jessica whips out her credit card that her new boyfriend just gave to her. So Sheree's all dumbfounded, as am I, of how do you get boyfriends to give you credit cards? She's like, I never had a boyfriend give me a credit card. Um, where do I sign up? And, um... That was just funny. It was just hilarious. I don't know where this world is. I guess that's how they roll in LA. Boyfriends just hand out credit cards. Um, <laughs> anyways, so we're going to move on from that credit card issue. And let's um, move back to Maite. She is in her kitchen and she gets a call um, saying that she, the, the birth mother is basically sure that she does want to for her to adopt the baby but what I found strange about this scene was that she had her dogs like at least two or three of them walking on her counters while she's in the kitchen look like she was trying to straighten up or whatever um why are your dogs walking on the counters didn't we just see them in the previous scene walking around the street and you were trolling their poop around and that they poop out did you get a, a little baby wipe and wipe their tushies did you wipe their feet off before they came in the house and started walking around your counters Remind me never to eat at my taste house, ever. Um, you know, her mother comes over, they start discussing the adoption again. Her mother is just, it's just really out of pocket. And she's just, um, just went all the way to the left and told my tie, you know, don't even ask me to babysit. Like, what mother says that? I don't care if it's an adopted child or not, but that's clearly some, um, some deep family issues that they have going on. Um, I did think, speaking of family, that it was a cute little, um, scene with Jessica, Jose, Conseco, her ex-husband, and their daughter, Josie. Um, Josie wants a car, and Jose buys her a Mercedes. Again, that must be this world that they're living in L.A., because where I come from, 16-year-olds don't get Mercedes. 16-year-old gets, like, a 15-year-old. My first car was a Hyundai XL. It didn't even have a color. I told everybody it was gray, but really, I, it was just metal. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, it was like a 1989 Honda Excel at that, and I graduated in 1997, so it was really old. But anyways, um, in LA, they get Mercedes for their 16th birthdays when they get their driver's license. But I just thought it was cute that they were um, out teaching their daughter how to drive, and then Jose goes and pees in the bushes, and after he pees in the bushes, he comes out and starts, starts trying to hit on Jessica again, which in season one, they did have this on and off, like... It wasn't that they were dating on and off. It was just that he kept saying he was going to come back. He wants to come back. She might let him come back. And just the whole yo-yo thing. Because she's still clearly in love with him. Even though she has this new boyfriend. Um, let's see. Clearly, Maite loves her dogs. Because the magazine Life and Dog. Um, which is the magazine, I guess, for dog lovers. That I have never heard of before. Until I watched the show last night. But she received a cover for this magazine, which I thought was really cool. Um, I mean, if you love dogs, what better way to show how much you love your dogs than to be on the cover of a dog magazine with your dogs in the photo. That's really cute. Um, I didn't understand the photographer. He was 